welcome to the Pickleball Recovery Podcast, where we highlight products and practices to help you feel better faster, so you can spend less time stiff, sore, and injured, and more time on the court doing what you love. This podcast is sponsored by AlloMD. Don't just mask pain, eliminate it. AlloMD provides intense relief and advances continual repair for both acute injuries and chronic pain. All natural patented technology developed by doctors to get you back in the game fast without the use of opioids, steroids, or ANSAIDs. AlloMD, harnessing the power of pure natural ingredients that provide deep, penetrating repair. Patented, validated, natural. Learn more at www.allomd.com and make sure to use the discount code PBR at checkout to save $5 off your order. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to Pickleball Recovery. I'm your host, Tim Ringgold. It is great to be with you. Happy New Year. Let's go 2023. Come on. I hope uh, if you haven't done it, I hope you take a moment of time, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15. Take some time. Look back over 2022 at what you did well. Where did you win in the game of life? Where'd you win in the game of pickleball? What progress did you make? What accomplishments? What achievements? You know, what did you acquire? Uh, Where'd you win? See, the human brain has a negativity bias, and it's really easy for us to end the year feeling a little discontent or incomplete. And then what we do is we can take those incompletions and kind of project them out into 2023 like a to-do list like a chore or laundry. And that's no fun. Come on, how much fun is it to start the new year with that hanging over your head? Don't do it. Here's what I recommend instead. You take that 10 or 15 minutes, look at your calendar, go through the months, take a couple of seconds to reflect. Where was I? What did I do? What happened? If you have a gratitude journal, you can go back through and look at that. That's a great tool if you don't have one of those. If, if, if you don't have one, you can just look at your actual calendar and it'll tell you where you were and what you did. You'll start to see what you accomplished because it's easy to forget. It is easy to forget all your wins. So it's great to catalog them or chronicle them in a gratitude journal. And if you don't, just look at your calendar. Write down what you did well this past year. Come on, this is no time for being bashful or shy. Take 10 or 15 minutes, really own your successes. No one else is gonna give you a high five. I mean, you really have, it has to start with you kind of taking a look at what you did well. So it's a very powerful process, highly recommend it, because then from there you can say, well, all right, well, I was able to accomplish all that last year. What do I really wanna create this year? Not, right? Like, what do I want to create? Not just how am I going to react to this year? No, 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 no. My dogs have to react. That You know, that's their job. They react to their internal and ex- external environments. They don't create. Humans create. This is a gift. What do you want to create this new year? So I uh, highly recommend you take some time to do that. All right. So I'm really excited about this episode. Let's jump into it. All right. Because on my recovery journey, I'm a guy who's been suffering the whole time that I discovered pickleball, as you may know. And so I've been on this quest to find all the most effective tools out there to help my body feel better faster. And let me tell you about this product. So you're going to hear this interview of me and the founder and president of Firefly Recovery, uh, this device that you can wear that speeds up your recovery time by three times, like triples your recovery time or like, okay, I don't want to get lost in the math here, but it, it you know, it decreases the amount of time you're sore <laughs> so that you feel better faster, which is exactly what this podcast is all about and this whole platform. So I tried this product. Uh, you'll see in the interview where I'm actually, he's putting it on me and I went around and walked around with that product on me uh, and have been using it since uh, when I need it. And man, this thing is effective. It is a game changer because it is easy to use. It is portable and it is, it's, it, it, well, it just works. You know, like what more can I say? Uh, you're going to definitely want to check them out at recoveryfirefly.com, recoveryfirefly.com. Uh, if you decide to get the pack, uh, order it. I'm telling you, it is worth every penny. Um, 
When you do that, use the discount code PBR at checkout. You'll save 10%. Um, yeah. So anyhow, just go ahead in the new year, get a set of these. They're so good. The implications for us as pickleballers is immense. Uh, I had a great time interviewing the uh, owner and founder, Anthony Genstad, and you're going to hear that now. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, and I will see you on the other side. Anthony Genstad, yes. welcome to Pickleball Recovery. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's great great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Make, made the trip down to Tustin, a couple, 20 minutes from my house. That's it. Yes. We, that worked out quite well. Yes, it Oh did. my gosh, we're practically in each other's backyard yeah. in, in all things considered. Shout out to your, um, whoever does your online marketing, because I got one of your ads put in front of me. Yes. Whether it was on Facebook or Instagram. Yep. And... Great looking video with a demo on what it is and how it works. And instantly I knew mm -hmm. not only is this, would this be good for me, but this would be good for my listeners. Yes. And so that began the process of like finding you. Tracking us down. Yeah. Which isn't that hard actually. No, it wasn't. And then to find out terrestrially, yes. we were actually close by. I was like, yes. <laughs> So here we are at the beautiful Tustin Hills uh, Racket and Pickleball Club. This is my home court and uh, used to be a tennis you know, club. And now, as you can hear and see in the background, we've uh, you've taken over. We're, we're, we're like a virus. Yes. Just spread. <laughs> in a good way, though. <laughs> in a good way. Exactly. It's like it's a healthy addiction. Like that sounds like an oxymoron. Yeah. <laughs> but like healthy virus? Well, yeah, you know. That could be. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I think if it gets more people out moving around... Uh, great. But the flip side of pickleball is it also gets, it brings with it its fair share of injuries sure. from overuse. Yes. Right. And I am the case study. And the reason I have a podcast is because I'm the one who needs this stuff the most. <laughs> I'm an athlete and an artist whose body says artist, but whose mind says athlete. Got it. So I drag this thing around. Yes. Kicking and screaming. Aren't you dealing with a calf strain? Right As now? we speak, I am dealing with a calf strain. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and just this week, woke up with some kind of lateral meniscus pain in my left knee. And we have a, a joke in my house. We say, what fresh new hell is this? <laughs> well, I do play a doctor out at work on my other side. I'm an orthopedic DME salesperson. So I can probably assess your knee, diagnose you, um, you know, give you some, uh, you know, treatments, some PT stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. We'll, we'll do all this today. We have done many things with this body <laughs> on camera before. It won't be the first or last time that we use me as the test subject, as the guinea pig. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Tell me a little bit about your background sure. in, in medicine, in medical devices and, and, and then how did that lead you here to Firefly? Yeah. Um, so my background is orthopedic, durable medical equipment. I service, uh, in Los Angeles, all of California, uh, orthopedic sports medicine physicians. Yeah. Um, and uh, when you have an injury, whether it's n surgical, non-surgical, um, a lot of times you'll need a modality, a brace, um, a stimulation device, a cold therapy unit for post-surgical pain management. Yep. That's what I do. Okay. And uh, about eight years ago, um, in the medical healthcare side, they started doing total joints, which were commonly done in the hospital. Yeah. They started doing them in ambulatory surgery centers and releasing you within eight hours after surgery. Wait, wait, hold on. We have to just stop the tape. Yes. I used to work in orthopedic PT. Okay. Back in 1995. <laughs> yes. Right and when I started. As a PT <laughs> aide. Yep. In the hospital. Mm -hmm. And my job was to get total hips and total knees out of bed after surgery yep. for their first PT session of their seven day stay. Yes. yes. You're telling me it's now done eight hours. You're gone. You might even be gone quicker than that, actually. Um, it's, it's advanced a lot. Um, and one of the biggest issues with those patients is movement, yeah. number one. And uh, one of the concerns the physicians are worried about is actual a blood clot. Yes. So you get these sequential compression squeezers on your ankles when you're in the hospital. Yep. And um, if you know anything about those, you're tethered to the bed, you're tethered to tubes and pumps and et cetera, and they're not really good for ambulation. You yep. can't get in and out of bed. The nurses have to come in, take them on, put them off, and a lot of times they don't put them back on. So this company that I represent saw an unmet need there. And what they figured out is rather than squeezing the lower extremity, yep. pneumatic compression to increase blood flow, yep. you could actually stimulate the body's nervous system. Um, so that's where this technology actually came from, medical side to prevent blood clots. Interesting. Long way away from where the firefly is. Um, 
But if you look at their base technology, peripheral nerve stimulation, we're the only technology on the market that does that, actually increases blood flow dramatically more than squeezing your lower extremity. No kidding. So in the medical world now, this technology is used to prevent a blood clot, reduce post-operative swelling, yep. and non-operative swelling. So um, ankle sprain strains, anything yeah. like that. Yeah. And also we're healing lower extremity diabetic wound ulcers three times faster. Wait, what? All by increasing blood flow. So when without it, having to squeeze, without having to basically using your body's own mechanics. Wow. Right. So interesting. Um, and so a lot of people don't understand or even know this technology. If you went to your orthopedic surgeon today and he was in Las Vegas where we're not penetrated yet, yep. he would be like, I don't know anything about this technology. Yeah. Um, so what happened in Europe where the product was developed is the athletic trainers and physical therapists started pulling the technology into the athletic training room to use our product as a recovery device because they're using pneumatic sequential compression devices for recovery. Um, as are, am I, Yes, as I was this morning. And, and the same limitations happen with those technologies. You have to be at your house, plugged into a wall, strapped with your, with your legs above your heart, right. and you're getting this squeeze and you're yep. getting this blood flow, and it's great technology. It works. Yes. But where you need these devices typically is, I, I was listening to one of your podcasts, and you were like, oh, I was over in Vegas, and I was over, I'm playing a tournament in Boston, and I'm doing this. And, so you're traveling a lot. Yes. You don't have your modalities with you. You're not going to take those with you. Yep. Um, and so the advantage of the technology moving over into the Firefly was our athletes were looking for recovery immediately post-training mm. or in between uh, like matches, et cetera, yeah. where you're sitting on the side, you're waiting for your next match. What can I do in between matches? And then a lot of our athletes where we started is in the pro and college training rooms immediately after like if the lakers play tonight tomorrow they probably play the knicks so they're literally finishing a game at the crypto center they're jumping on a plane they're flying to new york wow. so they took our technology throw it on their legs intra flight and so there ended up just being a lot of reasons to use our product outside of what modalities were available in the training room yep. and we ended up checking a lot of boxes of travel getting the athlete outside of the training room to use the technology, et cetera. So yeah. that's how the medical device ended up becoming this over-the-counter technology. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, so I picked it up seven, eight years ago, found this technology in Europe, and brought it over to the U.S., became the importer for it. And when they brought it to me, they were like, oh, by the way, we have this Firefly. Um, it's for performance athletic recovery. I happen to work with all the athletic training rooms in Los Angeles, the Kings, the Lakers, the Ducks, the USC, UCLA. And I brought the technology to my athletic trainers there who make the decisions on recovery for yeah. those programs. And they were like, wow, this would fit so well in what we do. Totally. Um, so I actually carry both the medical device and the Firefly. Um, but 90% okay. of my time is now Firefly. Wow. Um, because it's really just blown up inside of those where we first started. We're in about 400 um, college and pro training rooms now as their primary or one of their primary uh, recovery modalities. So, wow. Yeah. So cool technology that nobody knows about because I spent most of my time just hand-to-hand -hand combat selling to athletic training rooms, not really trying to speak to consumers. Consumers has really been in the last three to six months for us. No. Wow. We're just, just, we're just on, the corner. on the corner. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah. This is great timing. So we've been at marathons. We've actually been at a pickleball tournament in Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, one of the racquetball companies. Companies, I can't remember their name, or excuse me, the pickleball racket company. Gamma. A Gamma yep. invited they us to their tournament. Yeah, yep. And we had a booth there. No kidding. Um, we didn't do super well because people walk by our booth and go, oh, What's, yeah. what is this? Yeah. It looks like a stem. It doesn't make sense. Yes. Um, so yeah. if you give us three minutes yep. or, or four, because I love to hear myself talk, I can walk you through it and then it makes sense. But if you walk by us quickly, you'll be like, that just looks like a yes. tchotchke device. Yes. Um, isn't it? Isn't that funny? Like your brain has these like shapes on the pegboard for yeah. devices. Yes, and it's like mm, it just goes to put it in like triangle. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a square. No, it looks like a triangle. No, I swear. Yeah. That's and I see that because uh, the company that sponsors this podcast, yes. LOMD. Yes. When I'm on the road and I'm not on the court, I'm at the booth helping people because they have a really unique product. Yeah. And it's not like any other product. Yes. And you see people walk by and you see their heads turn and you can see like the wheels. Like yeah. they're like trying to fit it into what they already know. And you're like, no, let here, let me just put it on. You just give me three minutes. You'll feel better. I'll tell you why it's different than what you think you know about it. And 
it's tricky. The story of my life. Like, yeah. Literally, like if we can get three, we were just at a runner's convention in uh, Austin. Um, and, you know, it's a big, where all the running stores come and look at new devices and stuff. And if we can get three minutes, they're like, this is amazing. Yeah. And then if we can get it on athletes, the feedback 99.9% .9 is, holy moly, this is now the thing I need for my recovery. But we got to get them three minutes and they got to understand the when, the where, the why, the how. So I, I brought you a little PDF on nice. when you, when we get feedback with our athletic programs on how they're implementing it with their athletes. And, and uh, yeah, it's been a great fun journey. We're on the cusp of, um, you know, I say we're awkwardly, um, you know, in that weird time of still not making any money, yeah. but yeah. you know, and still nobody knows about us, yeah. but we're, we get yep. so many incoming calls now. It's, it's, it's a blessed journey yep. of, of who we get to take care of. I mean, I have elite pro and college athletes texting me on a daily basis How cool. now. Like, Hey, it just happened. How do I use the firefly? And I'm like, Oh, here's what you do. And it's been cool. And, and things like this, honestly, where this lands in your lap and you're like, I need to learn more about this. And then everybody wants to tell me all these communities of like, you need to go to pickleball and you need to go to tennis and you need to go to yes. international travel. And I'm like, Whoa. I know this is why I don't sleep at yeah, night no. because my brain yes. just goes, yes. this is so much opportunity to educate. Yes. Um, and recovery is not just firefly. It's nutrition. It's yeah. sleep. It's, it's this bag of things together, but it's cool to be one of the peers. If you look at recovery, everybody talks about blood flow, whether it's dry needling, whether it's compression, whether it's, um, vibration, yep. it's really blood flow. Yeah. Um, and so it's cool to have a technology that uses your body's own mechanics that you can do it on the fly and do it in a lot of places. We can have a pickleball match, go sit down, have a lunch and I could be recovering while I'm sitting there, you know, in between my next pickleball match. Right. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The science of recovery is still this nebulous cloud of yeah. what things do I put together? And yep. and I don't really like to give too much guidance. This isn't the golden ticket, right. but it's a piece of the, pu yes. the puzzle, yes. right? Yes. Um, so I do think for your calf, um, you're going to see tremendous... I always tell people, use our product for recovery in the wear times we suggest. Okay. But you're going to get a lot of other benefits from it um, because circulation reduces swelling... It helps things heal faster, et cetera. So just increasing blood flow does a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Are you going to sit there with a massage gun and massage that for four hours? Or are you going to throw a firefly on there and go about and do your thing yes. and get all the benefits that circulation will give? Um, so without getting too close to the medical, I never want to fly too close to the medical side because this is not a medical device. Right. But it they get a lot of positive things from circulation. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. And uh, in the world of multitasking, side hustling, human doing, uh, efficiency, yes. time efficiency, I think is one of the biggest things that I find like time value is like the, the biggest currency, right? Like, so this morning I'm on, I'm on my PEMF mat with my compression boots while I'm doing Wim Hof breathing. Yes. Right? One, two, three. Why? Because I don't have enough time to do one, then the next one, then the next one. Yes. Literally like stacking modalities stacking. Yeah. to try to be as efficient with my time as possible. And that's after I had finished my stretch workout from my trainer who's rehabbing me right now. Yes. Right. So time to take care of our bodies. I think that's a lot of people just struggle with it. I mean, time and money, like the two classic hurdles, right? Yes. It's just yeah. time and money. Yeah. You know, it's pretty much. Well, yeah. And now the hemp. Matt, those things yep. are not cheap, right? No, that was not like cheap. Four or five. That grand? was that was definitely. It's an investment. Yeah, it was over four grand. Yes, to have that. And, yeah, and it, which means I'll use it. Yes, <laughs> and I have. I yeah. got that in 2017 after my head injury. And uh, is that the Beamer? Is uh, I got mine's a different brand. Beamer is probably the best one on the market. Okay, this one's called IMRS 2000. Okay, rolls right off your tongue. Yes. Yeah, not yeah. quite as short as Beamer. Yeah. Uh, Beamer's phenomenal. In fact, I was on a Beamer at a tournament in Atlanta for my shoulder. They have like the, the big mat and then they have like a little portable mat. And yeah. It was like, oh, that was, that was different. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the, tune in future uh, episode. There's a, We're going to be doing an episode with 
uh, somebody who has a Beamer in their clinic in Newport Beach. And that's going to be an episode specifically on that technology. Yeah, that PEMF technology is, is that signal is really used across medical. Again, a lot of these yep. technologies that you'll end up diagram, talking, right? they start over in the medical and they end up being in our world, right? Or, or this recovery world. But PEMF is used for killing bones faster, yep. um, reducing inflammation and in soft tissue. Yeah. Um, and then obviously circulation for recovery. So it's all... It's all, but it, like you said, though, circulation, it comes back to because like I have a red light lamp. Right? Yeah. What's it? But someone asked me what it do. Oh, it increases circulation to the area. Right. What's your PEMF mat do? Oh, it increases circulation to the area. Yeah, yeah. What do your compression boots do? Oh, it increases circulation to the area. Right? Yeah. Like yeah. that is the key. Like the blood, uh, blood flow is like. Yeah. Just like contrast, right? Contrast, cold, hot. I yep. mean, it's, it's blood goes to the heart, you know, cryo, and then you get out in the warm and it, it goes and it, it like there's, you know, it's it's just unique, but it's all blood flow, yeah. right? Um, and honestly, I think the nice thing about athletes is they're more even open to using these medical technologies even more, I think, than the medical world. Medical world has access to this, but there's still not a lot of understanding how to help accelerate a total joint. I don't, you know, if you think about where I think about these worlds are going to collide is like, if I had a total joint. I might go to a cryo chamber, right? Because you're getting that reduction of inflammation. You're getting that. Um, I, I I still don't think a lot of these commonly used recovery tools have translated to the yep. medical side. They started in medical, used for a certain thing. Yep. They get exposed in recovery in this recovery wellness performance world of all these other ways to to utilize it. But I don't think that translation has come back gotcha. uh, to medical, and that's. A hard thing because and, and a lot of it has to do with reimbursement yeah. if it's not paid for by your insurance you won't implement boy is that a whole nother rabbit that's hole. a that's a yeah another yeah. podcast totally totally yeah. how to solve that yes and i learned early on not early on i learned at some point if it's if it's really good for me i'm probably gonna have to pay for it myself yep and and i've just made my peace with yep. that and have paid a lot of money for my health and I'm just like, well, I could pay now or I could pay later. And uh, I'd rather pay now because I have a feeling that my quality of life is better, is going to stay better. And the total overall investment, this is what I tell myself, yes. is going to be less in the long run. Uh, but being able to stay active and play something that's as addictive as pickleball, as I was telling you beforehand, you know, we don't rest. Mm -hmm. And as we age, you know, that refractory period increases, right? So that was one of the things that I was super interested in. Uh, about recovery, um, about Firefly was that I was like, oh, you can solve a problem for pickleball players that they're not willing to solve through traditional means. Yes. And anything that kind of is a cheat code yeah. for rest, people are like, what's the cheat code? Yeah, I want to know the hack. Yeah, I want to know the hack. Yeah. So yeah. kind of let's get into this device. Let talk talk to me about it and yeah. what it is. So again, medical device, in you know, stimulating the nervous system to increase blood flow. So there's a nerve that goes down the lateral side of your leg, goes hip to toe. It's called the peroneal nerve, yep. goes down into the foot. So what this company did is modified a muscle stim signal to comfortably stimulate a nerve. I'll put one on you. Okay. So when you, so, so you know, again, because it's medical, again, we need this three minutes to walk everybody through it. But yep. you have a, a bone on the lateral side of your leg called Let's the- Let's use my right leg, actually. Okay. That way- um, we yeah. can uh, see it on camera. So if you're listening to this on Audible or, or Apple or Spotify, you should go over to the YouTube channel and watch this. So, yeah. So you got this bone here. Yep. And that's our landmark. Okay. That's Everybody has that bone. It's in the same spot for everybody. Yep. Again, this product looks like a knee product because I'm putting it on your knee. But really, we're just trying to locate the nervous system in your lower extremity to pump the blood back to your heart faster. Okay. So you're getting systemic blood flow, you're getting hip to toe microcirculation. It's not specific to the knee, but yep. we located off the knee because it's located off the fibular head. Okay. Found the fibular head, and what I'm gonna do is turn it on. Okay. And you're gonna feel a little stimulation. There you go. It's gonna feel weird. Yeah. The first time you put this on, you know, you have to be ready because it's gonna actually trigger your muscles. Yeah, which I directly. Can see. So, so you're obviously an athlete. Oh, you're level one. So you're right at, this is working. Yeah. It's fine. Now I can go to level two, which okay. is going to really pump you up. Oh yeah. There you okay. go. More is not better with this technology. So you ooh, don't need. Ooh, say more about that. You don't need. More is better is a, a mistake a lot of people make with recovery. Yeah. Um, so with our, our product was stimulating the serve, you're getting this calf pump. Um, you don't 
need massive you don't calf need pump. More calf pump. Yeah, you just need it to trigger. Got it. Um, and so when you get that, um, that's that's all you need. Um, yeah. So that is literally stimulating your nervous system. Yep. And in essence, using these two anterior muscles to pump the blood through your arterial and venous flow system. Okay. Your your five and your four hundred five if you're in California. <laughs> And um, pushing blood back to your heart faster. That's the greatest regional <laughs> shout right there. That was really good. So so simple, right? Yeah, you, yeah. you finished your match. You dry the legs off, get the sweat uh, away. You throw the device on. Our wear times for recovery, if you look at the science, are two to four hours based on athlete load. Okay. Hard to define athlete load, but you can kind of understand, hey, if I had a heavy day of, of workout or if I'm training for a marathon and I ran 12, 15 miles, that's a lot of miles for me to gear up from a marathon. So I might actually wear it four hours. Okay. I would say most of our young athletes, younger athletes, wear them about two hours. Okay. So then if you think of the other modalities, a lot of times you're getting in them for 30 minutes, getting out or yep. 45, you really should be in those longer. Mm -hmm. And the benefit of this technology is it's moving more blood than medical grade sequential compression, but it's also allowing you to get into longer wear times without impeding your day. Yes. You can still go to work. You can go eat lunch. Yep. Wouldn't suggest driving a car with your foot banging around. But okay. um, outside of that, I mean, you can go do your thing. When you're done, you turn it off. Yep. And you take it off. So, and then you put it back on the back strip. Okay. So this- That was is, it. That was it. So it's deceptively simple. Deceptively simple. The negative we get a lot with patients or with athletes is, well, this is a, a disposable technology. So if you knew our background, again, medical, yep. um, put it on a patient today, take it off tomorrow, throw it away, put mm -hmm. another one on. Yeah. We still haven't moved into rechargeable. Gotcha. Even when we do rechargeable, which we're in the works of doing, you'll still always have a disposable electrode. When you're delivering energy through skin, you need a gel-based electrode. Yep. That electrode has limited life. Okay. These units will last 30 hours, recommended wear times two to four. You're going to get seven to 15 treatments per pair. Okay. Um, about a dollar an hour for recovery. Okay. If you maximize them, three to four hours, four bucks, less than a Starbucks. Um, it's but a four bucks, not a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that's, that's our three minute pitch. If you came to me yep. at my booth, walked you through it and you kind of walk away understanding, okay, I know everything's about blood flow. Better, more is better in regards to wear times, not pump. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's our technology. So started pitching that five years ago to athletic training rooms across the country. We've done quite well. And now we're, you know, getting in front of people like yourself and different communities are adopting us. I'd say running's really embraced us a lot. I could see. Um, early on, um, if you think about building up to a marathon. Yeah. You know, most of those athletes are injured as they're yes, and and they're looking. You know, they've invested so much time, energy, money, really, yeah. to get there. They want to just still go, and yeah. and our technology makes sense in in what they're doing. And yeah, um, travel. Obviously, a lot of our athletes are flying over the place, and they want to land ready to go. And this product makes a lot of sense for that. So yeah, I do not want to make this totally about Firefly, even though I feel like. If you get me on a roll, obviously, okay. you're like, whose podcast this is? Yeah, no, this is the point. No, <laughs> the whole idea of the podcast is to is to put products and practices in front of the 40-plus pickler so that they know it's out there. Yep. And then they can go find out more information about it. And if it's right for them, great, they pull the trigger. Yep. And I will tell you, like, the, the coolest thing is being on the road myself and having a perfect stranger walk up to me and be like, you're Tim Ringgold. And I'm like, whoa. You know, I yeah. listen to your podcast. I bought X after you interviewed Y. Yeah. And it's helped me with Z. Yeah. And love your stuff. And I'm just like, yes. Because then they, you know, we're, we're, we're connecting the dots. Yes. You know, I was uh, listening to you talk to the Badger and I was like, I think I need one of those plates. Oh, uh, the power plate. <laughs> the power yes. plate. Yes. I was like, um, I have a, so me personally, I'm 53 year old, somewhat athlete when I, when I schedule allows me to be in, uh -huh. and I have a infrared sauna in uh -huh. my house. Yep. That for me has been my best investment. Nice. More than anything for sleep. I don't know if you've wow. ever done. A we haven't done an discussion. episode yet. Oh, oh my gosh. Sauna. My wife introduced me to that. I have the blanket. Okay. The get high. Yeah. Uh, sauna blanket. But I mean, the, the one you actually go into this inside. We're, we're fortunate here in Southern California where if you just Google searched 
infrared sauna, there's probably 20 centers you could go to (laughs) that actually you can pay a $15 membership fee and and go. I highly, that is honestly one of the best things I've done really for me for sleep. Yeah. I, I, I'm just blown away at how well I feel. With. And the research on sauna as a practice for, this is like a great phrase. Uh, it reduces incidence of all cause mortality by 50%. Yeah. Now that's an interesting stat. Right? Yeah. But one of my buddies that I'm, is a fellow hacker like me. Yeah. And he was like, he reached out to me. He's like, do you have one? And I was like, I'm thinking about getting one. And then another buddy of mine who we interviewed, the sleep doctor, yeah. Dr. Michael Bruce. Okay. He uh, recommended it as well. And yeah. uh, he was like, this thing is a game changer as well. So infrared sauna is definitely a big deal for the human body. Worth it. And um, so my wife dragged me and I was like, I'm not going to go sit in a hot box. That makes no <laughs> sense. I don't like heat. I like cold. I want a fan blowing on me. First day I did it, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, struggled through, right, right, sweating, right. Ugh, go home, take a shower. Woke up the next morning at eight o'clock. I'm like, oh, these things are amazing. <laughs> Slept <laughs> yes. like a baby. Slept like a baby. And and now to this day, I, when I'm home, I infrared sauna every single night. Wow. Yeah. There and I go. just flat out believe in whatever the science is. Yeah. Um, yeah. It works. Yeah. It does work. 100%. Um, okay. So with these when i with the recovery firefly or just the firefly yep. i keep calling it recovery firefly the firefly um when i put them on um i don't need to wear any protective things over the top of that that's good enough yep. yes yep and i can cover that with any kind of clothing it doesn't have to be, be uh exposed or anything like that i could just yep put, so it can go underneath my clothes so no one knows yep that i'm wearing them yep Awesome. What you got there? We want everybody to know you're wearing them. So <laughs> if you could wear shorts, that'd be great. Um, so <laughs> it's good marketing. Uh, yes. Um, we did develop a strap okay. to hold it on. So the limitation of electrode-based technologies is if you take it off and on, the gel doesn't stick as good. Right. So on that seventh, eighth application, it might not be as conductive or okay. if you've got hairy legs or you use lotion, it just doesn't stay right. So okay. we developed a little strap to hold it on. If okay. you order the starter kit from us, which is two units and a strap kit, that's what the strap kit's for. Gotcha. You don't need it right out, fresh out of the pack. Um, you can throw them on multiple times. Sometimes you don't even need really the strap kit. Um, some people have just better skin conductivity. Yep. Myself, I have a little bit of hairy legs, so I'll, I'll put the strap kit on on that third, fourth application just to keep it tight. Got it. Outside of that, you know, people will ask us, well, can I wear compression? Right. Socks. Right. Okay. You can certainly put the Firefly on and then throw compression socks up over the top. We have research that says there's no additional benefit to that. Meaning, gotcha. Dynamic. We're dynamically moving blood. If you're compressing with like compression, we've seen no additional benefit. Not to sell against those technologies. Yep. Um, it. It. I don't think it is a negative. Yep. It just and and honestly, it does hold it on tighter. There you go. So it's not a bad thing. Yep. Um, but you know. But I don't you, like. But you can't put the compression socks on first. Yeah, right? this has to be direct to skin. Firefly direct to skin, and okay. then compression over the top. But a lot of our athletes will still wear compression on flights. Okay. With the Firefly, got it. Um, I personally don't like compression, um, and so I don't. But gotcha. uh, this and the science doesn't really uh, support it. But it, it also doesn't say there's a negative to it yeah so okay. uh so yeah so yeah right up against the skin great um need that contact we'd love you supporting you know no strap kits so everybody can see the branding really well and we nothing better we just had a nfl player was standing at the podium doing his uh can't even remember who it was and he was doing his discussion and he had fireflies oh uh, you're like yes we were like Oh, and we just were i'm not i won't name drop but we were put in an yeah. article uh nfl team went to um Germany, because they're all traveling internationally now to do a couple like uh, exhibit games. Yeah, yeah. well, no, they're real games actually. Oh, oh, like the NFL, count. like the. So I'll name the team. It was the Buccaneers. Okay. Uh, played, I forget who they played actually. Oh, they played Seattle Seahawks in Germany. Oh wow! And there was an article done with their sports scientists interviewing. He said, "Well, what's the secret to you know travel?" And it was Firefly, and um, cherry tart juice. What? Yeah. Well, and we, yeah. So. You know, we're a fairly small company, and then we woke up Saturday when the article came out, and ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we're like, "What's going on? What happened in our universe?" Um, and then um, ESPN ended up holding it up, talking about the article. Ding, 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 
Oh my gosh. We had our biggest two days of sales in our entire company history like three weeks ago because of- Awesome. So we're starting to see those things. And it's super cool. It's super cool. Um, and then when I was at this runner's convention I was telling you about, we ran into a chart, tart cherry juice maker. Okay. I didn't even know the science behind yeah, that. Yeah, cherry juice. But I then know. when you start tart, thinking about that, that juice. I'm, and then yep. that day I was in the University of Texas training room because when we- when, when I travel for work, I try to hit as many college training rooms and pros. And I said, hey, I have to ask you, do you guys use this juice? Because they said, you do. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's right here. We use this. We've been using this for five, six years. I'm like, I found another thing. Yes. Another thing yeah. I need in my fridge. That's right. So now I have tart cherry juice and I drink eight ounces a day. Because eight ounces. That's what they say is, okay. the, is the magic number. And okay. it's actually refreshingly good. And Yeah. So anyways throw it on the pile there's a lot of yeah like you did right where you're do doing it. the boots and the this and the that and the stretching my morning routine oh my goodness it, it, it's like people it takes a lot to look this good <laughs> that's all i have to say like if you saw like from the moment i wake up the things i do and the things i take it's such a laundry list and i'm still complaining yeah right? like oh i got this calf thing on thanksgiving day yeah Boink, there goes my calf and i just tell myself like imagine what it would be like without it so yeah, I think that's an interesting concept too, because you're doing all these things to recover better, better than athletes were 20 years ago, but maybe there's still as many injuries sometimes. And maybe it's because we're all pushing ourselves harder well, because we feel better. It's like a circle. And, you know, you, you, my dad told me this as an athlete growing up. He's like, you know, you, you don't age mentally as fast as you age physically as an athlete in terms of what you think your body can do. Yeah. And now with this kind of, you know, youth infused longevity culture that a lot of us live in where 40 is the new 50, 30 and what is it? 50 is the new 40, yeah. right? Like at some point, you know, this human body has been developing at a much slower rate yeah. than culture. Yeah. And culture is kind of on this peak and the body's going, dude, nobody played at the level you're playing yeah. at your age yeah. 40 years ago, yeah. you know? And so I remember my chiropractor saying one day, he's like, it was when I was playing soccer. I was 44 as a defender. I was marking a 20 year old. Yeah. Now that's insane. It's just not practical. Unless you're posting them up in the basketball, then you win because you're just old man just, strength, yes, right? Exactly. <laughs> but in soccer, there's too much ground to yeah, cover, right? Yeah. It's 20. And I remember saying at one point, I said, I pulled the age card. I was like, how old are you? He's like 20. I go, I'm 24 years older than you <laughs> and then he looked at me he's like you're my dad yeah, yeah. you know and he, he kind of messed with him and my i was lamenting to my chiropractor about why i was so sorry he's like dude you don't have to stop playing soccer you just have to stop playing 20 year olds <laughs> exactly it's like play your is, age. A, is there a bracket yeah yeah play your age <laughs> like, okay all right so yeah. that's what i'm trying to do here in in, yeah. in in pickle and uh and having a pretty fun and and sometimes frustrating time at it. but yeah. uh all right so online how do people find out more about the Firefly? Where do they go? Yeah, so one place only, uh, www.fireflyrecovery.com. Okay. Um, we pretty much only sell online. We're not in any stores anywhere else. We're not, you're not going to find us on Amazon. Okay. Um, we're literally just through our website. And then we do sell into bigger organizations, college, high school football, pro teams uh, in bulk orders and stuff okay. like that. But most of our consumer action is just right on our website. Cool. I think we had an email thread and I can't remember. I should have prepped this before the interview and I'll, I'll get this right. You will have already heard the right answer to this question in the preamble listener. Uh, but I think we set up a code for people. We get uh, for podcast listeners, which is PBR. Yes. It's not perhaps. I know. I know. I love that code. Though. I remembered it. See, <laughs> it's like a charm. <laughs> Uh, and so there was, there was some sort of, we did do something for us. Yes. I can't remember what it was. I believe it was 10%. I think it was too. Off. Probably. And, and we'll have, um, I'll, I'll make sure on my side, uh, that's implemented. Um, yes, thank you. But it, yes, if you're listening to this, you already heard me tell you what the right answer was at the beginning. So it's all good. Yes. Um, but listen, Anthony, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. This is great. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks. You bet. Thanks so much for listening. Do you want to know the number one mistake picklers make that leads to increased pain, soreness, stiffness, and injury? Just head over to www.pickleballrecovery.com and download my free guide to playing with less pain and more enjoyment. Listen, pickleball makes us feel young at heart, but not necessarily young in body. So go download my free guide at www.pickleballrecovery.com. 
See you next time. <laughs>